Hello, this is Secret Tarot, and I would like to welcome you to my new channel, Sweet Soft Sounds. The channel offers a variety of ways to calm your mind, fall into a deep sleep, and relax your soul. White noise, calming rain, a soft voice, and so much more. So relax and unwind to sweet, soft sounds. I'll leave the link below so you can check it out. Thank you for your support. So much love and light sit your way. Hello, Virgo, and welcome to your weekly reading. I decided to do a weekly reading for each individual zodiac sign instead of my uh, all signs weekly reading that I usually do on Sundays. I thought it could give you a little bit more detail and let me know if you like it. All right, maybe we'll continue to do it. I have several different oracle cards here plus the tarot. So let's get into it, Virgo. We'll pull you a major arcana card to see what the overall energy will be for you, Virgo. This is for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? Let's see, we have the High Priestess. So intuition, things that are hidden, right? The High Priestess protects her secrets. Tapping into your spiritual side Listening to your higher self. Let's see where this is going. All right, Virgo. This is for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? Let's see. This is for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? Let's see. We have trust. So trust could be an issue here. Trust what is coming. Trusting the past. Trusting your higher self. Trusting your own intuition. Let's see where this is going, Virgo. I have the tea leaf fortune cards here, which I'm Sure, you guys have seen me use before. There are a gazillion of them. So I went ahead and pre-shuffled and put them in three separate piles. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pick a card for you here, Virgo. And I think we will go here. We have mountain major challenges to overcome. This could be in regards to family, friend, lover, work. So a challenging situation could be the trust needs to be re rebuilt here. All right, so let's see where this is going. We're gonna pull some tarot, get a little bit more detail. This is for Virgo. If this resonates with you, Virgo, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Virgo, please do check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Virgo out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Virgo. This is for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? Let's see. Okay, drama here. Hard to move, hard to move forward here. Can you trust the situation? There's the high priestess again. You need really need to listen to your intuition, Virgo. Let's see. Okay, so very defensive and um, standing your ground in regards to this particular situation. High drama here, whether this is work-related, whether this is 
a friendship, family, lover, whatever the case may be for you, you are on defense and you're standing your ground. However, there is drama here. Can we move past this drama? Can the trust be rebuilt? I feel like your intuition is saying you're not getting the full story here. So, and I also feel like whoever this person is in your life, um, they're pretty stubborn, and but they're also very determined to uh, move past the situation, the, this difficult, challenging situation here with you. All right, so let's start here. There is competition, fighting, arguing, drama, jealousy, all these things with this five of wands. But I feel like you're trying to dive deep. You're trying to read this person and trying to get a good feel because you don't trust their intention. You don't trust their intention. So can we move past this drama? Can we get past this obstacle, this challenge? So it's a bit of a battle here between you and this person. Six of Swords. So, Seven of Swords. Selfish energy. You, you feel like their intention isn't true. And can they rebuild the trust with you? They can if they speak genuinely and they speak truthfully to you. Because your intuition, your higher self is screaming that there's more to the story here and you don't trust the situation. You don't trust this person's true intention. So here's the high priestess again. And here's the high priestess. So things that are hidden, right? The high priestess protects her secrets. So I feel like you're going to get to the bottom of this. This is two powerful beings kind of going at it. All right. We got the high priestess here with the magician. So the magician can manipulate. The magician is very good at creating um, realities. All right. So, um, yeah, but I feel like, you know, your power, your intuition, your higher self is going to lead you in the direction you need to be led in. All right. So it's like the truth is going to come out um, if this person, they need to be 100% honest with you. And I feel like your higher self is trying to show you signs about this situation. So let's clarify that magician. For Virgo, let's clarify that magician for Virgo. Okay. I do think things will balance out here. And I feel like the situation can be let go, right? It's, it's very heavy. It's weighing on your mind. It's weighing on your heart and you're carrying it with you. So listen to your intuition. Read this person. Figuring out their true intention is going to be key here. It's like you're going to have to read between the lines. That's what I want to say. And you know damn well you're not getting the full story. But I feel like there's going to be a fresh start here. We can get over this. Trust possibly can re be rebuilt in the situation. But you need to trust your intuition here. You need to trust your higher self. And I do think things can balance out. We got the 11, 11 card. This could be celebration. This could be commitment. This could be home. Um, but it's, it's going to be okay. All right. Things will stabilize between you and this person. Whoever that is, right? Could be a workplace acquaintance, could be a lover, like I said, could be a friend, family member. Things will smooth over, but it's 
like the battle right now and you don't trust the situation. But there is an opportunity here to overcome this challenge. It's a challenging person. It's a challenging situation for you. So... Let's pull some advice for Virgo. This is for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? We have success. Bloom wherever you are planted. All right, so wherever you are, don't let anything or any anyone stop you. You will have your success and you will move past this. You will figure, you, you're going to figure this out. It's like a little puzzle that you're trying to put together and things will smooth over and you will get back to good. All right. So you have success here in overcoming a very challenging situation, overcoming a very challenging person. Let's pull a love bomb for you, Virgo, and see what the universe wants to say to Virgo. You brighten the day of those around you. So you're a very sweet, unique individual. And, you know, you make people smile, Virgo. So no stress, no worry. Let it go. It will all come out. Listen to your higher self. Listen to your intuition and things will stabilize. You're going to make this happen. It will be okay. Everything will be okay. All right, Virgo, that is your weekly reading. And I hope you have enjoyed it. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You can also follow my relaxation channel, Sweet Sauce Sounds. And I will leave that link down below in the description box. What else, Virgo? I think that's it. I hope you guys have a great week and everything will be okay and you will get past this, right? You will get past this. Take care, Virgo, and have a great week. God bless.